Hey guys, this is Matt with Comix Gaming. And today we're gonna we're finally gonna cover timers. So yeah, it ha it has come to the day that we're gonna cover timers. We we're, we're gonna do a plugin that includes the timer function. But before starting with the plugin, I want to point something out. I'm not gonna upload any more tutorials or videos until this video reaches 20 likes. 20 likes. Yes, I'm not asking that much only 20 likes so please share with friends and I'll share with some people that are interested in learning and getting better on at source mod so please read it up until we get 30 um, 20 thumbs up and then I'm gonna upload another tutorial but until um, we don't I, I mean until we get those I won't be uploading any but okay let's get started now Okay, timers. Now everyone knows what timers do, I think. They just delay a function. Like, I don't know, imagine that when a client joins, you want to delay 5 seconds and then display something to him, like a message saying, you've, you've been here for like 5 seconds. It's very easy, it's very simple, and it's also fast. So um, I think we're gonna do that as well. I'm, I'm going to remove this. So I don't need it. I'm gonna do the example I just gave. So timers might be tricky sometimes. Other times they might not. It depends on what you're doing, like what you want to make or create. So, whoops. Oh yeah. Um, I never mentioned this, but. You know when you double click to join a server like when you get into the loading menu there's an event that's fired and it's called on client authorized so when you double click the server to join this is going to get fired and you can do stuff meanwhile like, the player is actually loading all the stuff to spawn on your server but i'm not going to use this update i'm going to use this one as usual. Uh, okay, oops, I missed. And there we go. Okay, so the basic idea is to make the client, I mean, to print a message to the client after five seconds. So, what we're gonna do is create timer. Whoops. 5.0 this has to be a float always it doesn't matter if you want to do 5 seconds right 5.0 since the parameter is a float it's defined as a float then here you want to type the callback function it's going to be timer um callback I'm just going to call it like that callback and for now we're not going to we're not going to add anything else but we're going to come here soon to edit something that we need okay so to actually use this that we created we have to type public action colon timer callback callback handle and whoa let me see the, there we go handle timer and nothing else for now Okay, we're here. Um, so what we have to do is actually print to chat. And here's when you say, okay, how? Print to chat needs two parameters, maybe three if you're using any data type that you need to replace. Client, the string to print out, and any but we don't have any client here so maybe you're saying okay let's do it like always let's just type colon client this is not gonna work this is not gonna work because this right here is a timer timer callback and all the timer callbacks are like defined already 
and they actually have two parameters one is the timer and there's a second one called any now any is a data type that is that is in source mod I'm not sure if there is a any data type in any other programming languages but basically it's gonna allow any variable to pass into that callback so it doesn't matter if it's a float, an integer, string, a, a handle, I don't know, anything. You can pass anything you want. But you can only pass one thing. That's something that you should know. Or not know, but yeah, now we know it, whatever. Um, so, there's a way to actually pass more than one, one thing. Um, but I'm not going to cover that in this tutorial. I'm going to actually cover it in the next tutorial I'm going to make. Yeah. I'm going to try that out. If it, and if it works, I'm going to make a tutorial about that. And if it doesn't, I'll just go ahead and do key values. But let's hurry up with this. Okay, so any. And now we want to set client. Or any variable name you want. Since client here is, is a variable as well. Of a data type any. Which is can be, I don't know, anything. So client. As um, you've been here for five seconds. Um, semicolon. Okay, that's it. But we actually have to pass the client from here. So client. Now uh, I want to show you something. Create timer. It says float as interval timer function the callback the any data invalid handle and handle or value to pass through the timer callback function so you can pass anything you want and then flags flags are actually something they can type like for example you have an auto handle closing so after this timer is done it's gonna kill it like it's gonna it's never gonna fire it again and then you have the repeat one uh, where is it here you can repeat the timer to do so you want to type comma timer repeat like that um, so after the timer like hits five seconds here it's gonna count to five again and it's gonna do the following thing again um, always to the same client so yeah basically I'm gonna go through this again basically what, we, what we're saying is okay when the client spawns here we want to create a timer with an interval of five seconds and we want to set the callback function as timer callback and we want to send a variable called client which is the client that joined over here we have defined the callback handle timer this is like needed every time you create a timer this is like permanent you have to add this comma any client now sometimes it's not needed to pass a, a variable to the timer callback since you cannot like need it you can do basic stuff that don't need any variable to pass in but in this case we do because we want to print a chat to the client that joined so we actually have to pass client in now here's what happens with this when the, when it reaches 5.0 it's gonna print this and the timer is gonna be alive like and we're not gonna use this here but for example I created a new handle called H timer and we're gonna make each timer equal create timer now there are two ways of killing a timer I think it's kill timer yeah timer as parameter and auto close and also you can close handle handle as parameter so you can pass this one in and there we go it's gonna kill the timer it's never gonna fire again since it's, uh, it's not gonna exist anymore but it's like not like it's stupid to use it here because we're not doing an expensive function or anything like that so yeah you can do it if you want to you can like like avoid it if you don't want to 
this can be used for like a loop where if the client types I don't know um, exclamation point abort timer to like close the handle of the timer like yeah that's a way of using that I cannot think of anything of anything else right now but yeah that's a way so those are timers so yeah um, it's very simple guys I think it's one of the simple simplest things that Sourceman has and they're very very useful I have to say so I'm not gonna try this out because Steam is closed and I don't feel like opening right now I feel like opening Steam so that's all um, like I said before I'm not gonna upload another tutorial next week unless we reach 20 likes or 20 thumbs up on this video you can also go back to our previous videos and read them up as well if you want to help us because we get around like 20 um, I mean 90 views and only two to, to three likes and that's like very annoying to us so yeah please read it up if you liked it it helps us a lot it's gonna get the next tutorial uploaded if he reaches 20 likes and if it doesn't then say bye bye to tutorials because I'm not gonna upload any more tutorials and reach we read and we reach 20 likes on this one I know I said it like a lot of times but I'm gonna say it enough times so yeah that's all guys this is how timers work I'm gonna make another tutorial to explain what I said before um, I think this is all mm, yeah it's gonna work if you don't believe me I'm gonna compile it actually compile 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 tutorial compile as you can see I have no errors no anything works great so yeah as well guys thanks for watching um, please read it up like I said subscribe the bottom up here um, share with your friends with your family with anyone that wants to learn or doesn't want to learn I don't know but yeah this was Matt with Comics Gaming and I'll see you in the next one bye bye